No, so no, my, my story, how, was, how were we allowed to grow our hair? A new officer came to be in charge of the Kleiderkammer. Now it's in the Menelag. It's uh, about what time span are we talking August, about? August, August 44. August, yeah, August. A new officer comes and he's very smart von Schwarzenberg and he was Obersturmbandführer. He had a higher rank than Hess who was the commandant of Auschwitz. He was very high ranking. Came from Berlin only to do with Winterhilfe because we were sending boxes of clothes to Germany. <coughs> All the clothes that was taken off the Jews that came to Auschwitz was shipped back to Germany for people who were bombed. So people got linen and everything that was brought to Auschwitz was handed out to German families who were bombed. What was your relationship with this man? Well, I'm going to describe this to you. He comes, new man, very imposing figure. And uh, I had you know, it was a sinecure, I told you. So I was helping out in the office where the records were kept. And there was a Jewish man from Salonika. I don't remember his name. He was the Schreiber. And his files were in dreadful disorder, you know, of these shipments. But he kept writing each shipment on cards and there was supposed to be a card index. So he said, well, you ought to be organized such and such. He had a mountain of work there. So I said, look, I'll help you. Can I, can I help in the office? So I spent most of the day there actually sorting out the office and the filing. And within about a week, his office was... I mean, I've never done filing before. I didn't know what it was. Uh, but he uh, cleared it all up. And this von Schwarzenberg comes in and he starts asking a question about shipments, train loads of clothes that went to Berlin, the dates and so on. So the uh, Schreiber says, the Läufer weiß wo alles ist. The runner knows where everything is filed he'll find you the card. And the reason was because he didn't know the answer. <laughs> you see, I found the card, showed him the card, and it was all clearly, clearly written. And he said, good. And he, he's going out of the office, and he sort of, like a second thought, he turns back and uh, opens the door, and he stands in the door, and he says to me, do you know what goes on here? So I say, yes, I know what goes on here. So he says, but do you know what really goes on here? And he sort of makes with his chin to the north. So I say, yes, I do know what goes on here. What was he referring to? Well, to the crematoria, I thought. And to these clothes, you know, where do all these clothes come from? So I said, yes, I know what goes on here the second time. So he says, where do all these people go? And now, you know, this was an unknown, this man. He just came. He's asking a few questions. He's being normally polite, but you never know with these people. And I mean I'm I'm now fairly aware of what's happening. So I was then as well. I said to him, they go to a better place than here. So he says, Ach yeah. And uh, 
he is going to shut the door and he says, I want to bring you something tomorrow. Do you need anything? To me. And that was still when I didn't have hair, you see. So I said, if you can, I'd like permission to grow my hair. And he answered me, and he was a new boy, you know, a new officer, and a very high rank. And he says to me, I will look it up in standing orders. And that's why I keep going on about standing orders. I wonder if the Russians ever found any standing orders in any of the camps. I've asked historians of the Holocaust about it. Nobody knows anything about standing orders. And there must have been such a, such a document because somewhere the document must have come into allied hands. There must be some place where somebody can find such a document. Were you allowed to grow your hair? He comes back a couple of days later and he says, I mean, it's, 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 it, the way he said it, it's so bizarre. He said, I have made an application to Berlin and I've spoken to Sturban Hess, and it'll be all right, you can grow your hair because usually permission is given. And that's how we grew our hair. And he said the other boy can grow his hair as well. 